Then except for 174 pounds, Bo Nickel and Miles Martin, Penn State, Ohio State. There have only been four four-time national champions in the history of Division I. Kyle Dink is the only one of those four to win four titles in four different weight classes. Pat, uh, Pat Smith, Kale Sanderson, Kyle Dink, Logan Stever, but only Dink was able to shift weight and shift weight and shift weight and be dominant in each of those weight classes. Kyle Dink is with our Billy Baldwin here at Madison Square Garden right now. Billy? The four-timer, Kyle Dink of Cornell. Hey, Nashawn Garrett, senior year, finally brings home the Golden Chalice, wins the championship. We've got Gabe Dean on deck coming up for Cornell as well. Tell us about your feelings about the, the Garrett championship and your personal relationship with him, and what advice would you have to prepare? If you had 30 seconds with Gabe Dean coming up on deck, what would you say to him? You know, Nashawn has been a really close friend of mine. We've been really close ever since he was a freshman. Um, I've, I've loved to see him to see him compete, and I've just been heartbroken the past three years to watch him go out and not accomplish his goals. But I feel so happy for him that he accomplished his goals this year. He's worked so hard, and uh, it's just an amazing feat for him. Um, as far as Gabe Dean, he's just got to go out and wrestle. Whoa. <laughs> move his feet, move his hands, score points early, and, and make sure that he just goes out and dominates the way he knows how. Cornell on the leaderboard, even with a couple of injuries. Real Buda, you got to be proud of that in the face of injuries, huh? You know, we came out with three in, or three All-Americans, two in the finals, already one champ. Hopefully, we'll get another one. Um, you know, next year we got we're coming back. We only lose Nation, but we gain a couple more studs, and our young guys get some more experience. So, Cornell's got a bright future. Hey, the trials coming up next month, and Rio this summer. What are you doing to make sure you're peaking at the right time? You know, I've been I've been training harder and smarter. Uh, that was the biggest thing for me and making sure I stay healthy. Listening to my body is really important and, and this is the healthiest I've been in the past three or four years. Um, and, and I'm just really excited to compete and, and go out and represent my country in August. We're proud of you, man. Back to you guys. Great stuff, Billy. Really appreciate Kyle Dake taking the time to be with us as well. Guys, we've got two of the young stars in this sport right now. Bo Nickel, redshirt freshman for Penn State. Miles Martin was slated to redshirt. He's wrestling as a true freshman. He's gone 32 and six. Three of those six losses have come Move against here. Bo Nickel. He's wrestled Move him here. well at the duel when Penn State, Ohio State met, but Nickel has had the best of it over the course of the season already. Takedown for Martin, escape for Nickel in this one. Well, it all comes down to that strategy and the scouting. Earlier on in this tournament, Bo Nickel, he's been wrestling well, but in the semifinals, he had a close match against Nathan Jackson. What Jackson did really well was use the aggressive right off the whistle, kind of kept Bo Nickel on his heels, got him off his game a little bit. That's what Smart Martin's doing right now. He's got that early takedown, trying to get Nickel on his heels. Jackson was the only guy to beat Bo Nickel in a 33-1 and run this year. Yeah, Bo, Bo Nickel needs to keep opening up here and... Martin, I think he feels really good, and I say basic training. He needs to trust his training because he's a different wrestler than he was a month and a half ago. Kind of ran out of gas and maybe made the mistake because he didn't think he had the gas left in order to end it. Right now, I think he feels really confident. He's got to feel tremendous, and there is a stalling call on Martin. Sometimes I don't know what stalling is anymore. <laughs> John Nath is our official for this particular match. I felt like there was probably some motion going forward. Stalemate here, 31 seconds to go. Opening period, meeting number four between these two. These two wrestled against each other unattached while it was still a red shirt for Miles Martin. Then they've met twice ever since, including the dual meet, when Martin wrestled very well and then ended up giving up a six-point move. Martin. 32 and 6. Nickel is 33 and 1 on the season. Nickel, a Big Ten champion. He's had three bonus point wins in the Big Ten run, two bonus Both points men. so far in the NCAA. So five of his last seven. But as Anthony mentioned, it was just a 4 3 win over Nate Jackson. A takedown for Martin being aggressive. See Martin right there went in for that blast double, getting that kind of funky situation. Nice job covering up those hips, not getting turned there or thrown there. Well, I'll say this about Bo Nickel. He has the kind of style that can overcome early adversity. And so he's not worried about giving up points because he just continues to attack if he's doing well. Now, I was impressed with him last night. 
in an unimpressive performance because he knew the semis is about just winning and he was conservative but I don't think he can be here you got to wrestle both of these guys and I think Akita Martin is wrestling like this is your last match even though he's a freshman that's the way to get out and go nice roll through there by Bo Nickel you might not look at him and think oh you know he's a big Texan kid, he's a big guy. He's got a lot of athleticism. He's lankier than people realize when you stand next to him. And that makes for an impressive athlete. And there's the takedown for Nickel to take the lead. Just a beautiful chain there of attacks. You see on the left side, he's going for the underhook. Then went drop down on the right side to the leg. Switched off to a double there. Nice job of just transitioning from one move to the next until he got his two points. That's what he needed to do. He's got to get his underhooks and let it fly. And uh, very impressed. Improve here, men. Improve here, men. Bo Nickel, the most outstanding wrestler at the Southern Scuffle, where he outscored his opponents 81 to 26. So we know he could be an offensive wrestler. We saw it on display here. You see the beautiful transitions here. Left side underhook, drop down the right side of the leg, switched off to the double leg, and covered the hips. And he, attack. he just drives through with that underhook. Stop. The bottom man moving. Caution against Martin, trying to explode up too quick. 58 seconds to go, second period. NCAA Wrestling Championships presented by Northwestern Mutual for the first time from Madison Square Garden. There's an escape from Martin. Adam Amin, the Hall of Famer, Tim Johnson, 125-pound champion Anthony Robles, Quinn Kesnick, Billy Baldwin with us, our fantastic crew here in New York City for the first time. It's been a fun night so far, all leading up to the heavyweight bout tonight in New York, Wisdowski and Snyder trying to get out of the blast double. We see Martin having to move up towards the body again. Nickel did a good job of getting away from the double, but Martin trying to do what he did the first takedown and do it from the body position. Six-point move with a takedown and four near fall points. Well, that's that was, um, almost over right there. And the four points that you've talked about, a big change this year. Instead of three points for a five count, it's four points for a, for a four count. And Martin set all that up because he went on his basic double. He shot on the double. He wasn't afraid to go up when, he, uh, and when Nickel forced him up. But it was all great fundamental wrestling and he never gave up. Remember, Ohio State is sitting in fifth place right now. Iowa doesn't have any more wrestlers. If Ohio State wins one of their remaining matches, they will finish top four, and they will be on the podium. Excellent second period by Martin. Great glory, it ends with six. Great wrestling. Wrestle like it's your last match you'll ever wrestle, and I think Miles Martin just did that. <laughs> he went for it, and it paid off. A lot of people had so many high hopes for Miles Martin when he had yeah. that red shirt removed. They felt like he could make a run. He was seated 11th, had a very sound of the year, but Nickel was his kryptonite. Nickel is going to cut him loose, and now Bo Nickel has to wrestle from his feet. A three-time Texas State champion, Bo up, Nickel. Going to get in on the upper body of Miles Martin, looking to trip him up. Now Martin has potential to get some leverage here as well. Who's going to go down first? Who's going to finish? And it's two points for Nickel. Big takedown. These two young Still wrestlers. Green. Still green. Still green. Well, Martin was extremely Still lucky green. that Nick always put him back to get the near fall points there. Still green. Still green. The defensive wrestling on the mat here by Still Nick. Green. 50 Still seconds here. to go in the third. He, 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 where he's pinned him before with cross cra face cradle. And so Martin, aware of that, he's not going to go oh, over, man. but uh, this is back, advantage man. for Bo because he needs to get back to his feet and create there. Where you going, there has only been one Texan in the history of the championships to win 
the NCAA title. It was Bob Johnson back in the 60s wrestling for Oklahoma State. Mitchell definitely does have the, those powerful cradle, but if I'm here, I don't think I'm going to go up to my feet right here. Yeah, here he's body locks again. He's super dangerous. He's had some success in this match already. He's, he's got the riding done right now, but hey, Miles Martin can take the stall. Right. Yeah, it, he can take it. He can take, take another one. Yeah, he doesn't care right now. He just can't be put on his back. 15 seconds to go. Nickel trying to find the offense. Two absolute young studs. He'll take another stall call there. We might be seeing the start of something special. A rivalry brewing. And the biggest upset of the tournament. It's more winning the title for Ohio State. There's his dad, Greg. They're not too far away from home. From Penn's Grove, New Jersey. Greg is fired up. Let's go to his son. He's with Quint Kesnick. Fist pumps and a lot of emotion. Take me back to when Coach Tom Ryan decided to, to take the red shirt off. What was that discussion like? Uh, I thought I was too inexperienced. I didn't think I could do, do it because I was so young. But having our wrestling room with Logan and guys like that, they helped me a lot, like go to my confidence and just get ready to compete, so it helped. What was it like tonight competing against the guy that you've lost to three times? Um, I knew it was good. I mean, I lost him three times and my confidence was up. I know if I approached this match differently, it'd be a, a much different match. So, key point in the match was in the second period. You, yeah. you remember the, the, the toss right here by, by your coaches. Yeah. Take me through it. What happened? Um, I thought he had me on my back, but you got to keep wrestling through things like that. I kept wrestling, and then he ended up on his back. So that's how wrestling works. So I don't know. How do you put this in perspective? Um, it's unbelievable. All my fans, my parents up there, they're just great, and I'm just so excited right now. Go join a Miles. Congratulations. This kid was wrestling in high school last year at McDonough, down the road in Penns Grove, New Jersey. Tom Ryan with a big hug for his freshman national champion, and that locks Ohio State into a top four finish. There's Greg and Miles. Guys, we're just off Broadway. I know this place is famous for its theater, for its writing. We're seeing stuff you can't script right now. And Tom Ryan's team locked into a top four spot. Iowa is eliminated from podium potential, uh, potential after Ohio State gets the victory. We could be seeing the start of a great, great rivalry. Just another in the Penn State, Ohio State history. Tom Ryan, the fist pump, Miles Martin, the explosion of emotion, and a national championship for the freshman 